Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome my new haircut. I decided to give myself a bit of a hack job the other day and give myself one of those shag hairdos. DIY at home. It is a little bit uneven. I need to go to the hairdresser and fix it, but I just I was in for a change and I wanted a bit of a bit of style to my ever so straight boring do. So, yeah, I'm um enjoying it. The fringe is a little bit hard to get used to and hard to style to make it look okay, but this is my version of curtain bangs. Let me know guys if you guys have tried the curtain bangs and if they worked for you. I'm still undecided whether it's something that I will keep. <laughs> but anyway, stay tuned. So we're going to get right into the video today. And this is what I got in the post. Absolutely gorgeous yellow Fendi bag. When I posted about this bag, guys, online, you guys have not stopped talking about it. So here it is. The wait is over. Ta -da! Wow. It's really the bag of the season, I have to say. And the reason why I say that is because it is so different. It's so different, but yet there's a nostalgic element to this, quite 70s element in this clutch. I wonder if they actually brought this style out in the 70s. I'm not sure. But this big F logo on the top is just beautiful. This is in the larger size, guys, in the beautiful chocolate brown, dark brown mocha color. I decided to go for something different when I was going for these clutches. A lot of people had the nude color or the cream color and also the tan color which was out um, I think they call that the brown color and they call this the brown color too which is very strange so yeah Fendi have two colors in the brown when I looked on their site this color and the tan color were both brown I originally wanted to get the tan color but a lot of people have the tan color and I find the tan color very it's kind of a casual color. I find it looks best worn casually on the weekend, going to brunch, going on holiday, that kind of thing. Um, yes, it is versatile and you can definitely dress it up, but I thought this dark brown color was so much more sophisticated and I really wanted to give it a go because I don't have this color in my collection at all. So as mentioned, this is in the larger size. I think this is the 31. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'll put it on screen um, if I'm incorrect. And the smaller one I think is the 23 or the 25, which I kind of thought because of the way the shape of the bag is, there's kind of some space that is unusable, like this top section. And I know that I carry a little bit of stuff and I didn't want a tiny, tiny bag. I have a lot of tiny bags and I thought, you know what? I don't want another one. This one comes with a beautiful wide strap, which is a shoulder bag strap. Now the smaller size actually comes with a very skinny strap. Um, that's a crossbody strap. I really like the crossbody strap and I thought this strap was a crossbody strap, but I'm incorrect. So what I'm gonna have to do, this strap is too short for me to wear crossbody because of the size of the bag. So I've been contemplating on actually getting um, like a Fendi adjustable strap. You know those ones? I'll put it on screen. They're like Fendi with the Fendi logo and they're adjustable. They're kind of like a guitar strap. Um, I was thinking about getting one of those. I think that'll complement really well. I've also seen the cutest little baguette bags that you can hang on these bags. I don't know where you would hang it though. I really don't know. Would you hang it here because that's the only loop or here because that's the only loop that there is. But um, they have those bags as well, which is super, super cute. And I was thinking I would want to match that with a matching Fendi little baguette bag or something. They also come in the mini clutches, but I think that's a little bit overkill. And I think the iconic bag for Fendi is really the baguette. So and the peekaboo. So opening this up, it's got the absolute gorgeous. Let me take out the stuffing first before we do anything else. Oh, OK, 
Okay, that was a little bit hard work because the bag is narrower at the top. See that, how it angles up? So when you're trying to get a pillow that's actually big at the bottom out of a small opening, it's a little bit difficult. But how gorgeous is this interior, guys? I mean, I cannot fault this. This is absolutely stunning. Beautiful, big bucket style bag it's not huge i have to say for the fact that it's a 30 centimeter or over size bag it's not huge the lining is in the gorgeous fendi monogram print um, which i really like and there's a beautiful leather tab just inside that says fendi made in italy and there are no pockets or anything like that because seriously it's not that big of a bag and the way that it opens it would be a bit strange to have a pocket actually you could you could put a pocket but there are no pockets fyi so the other great thing is these little um, attachments so if you wanted to wear this as a clutch you could take the strap off and move this little clip inside so you don't see it which is actually a really nice idea because who wants the little clips when, oh, okay, so I'm gonna just, it's designed in such a way that it can turn to the inside and clip in so it doesn't move. And then when you close it, it's completely clean on the sides and you don't have bulky clips, which is so gorgeous. The back is just very plain, no F on the back at all. It's just the front there, which is kind of nice because then you know which way is front and back. Also, this color is just divine. The stitching is perfect, absolutely perfect. Wow. And the quality of the leather Oh, it's really beautiful and it smells quite strong of leather when you smell it. Um, I did not realize when I opened it. The thing is with something this smooth, you are going to get some scratches on it and that's something that you kind of have to accept when you are getting one of these. They, I did see a couple in like exotic skin versions. There was like a brown similar color to this in a snake skin. Um, there's also like the beige color in a snake skin, like a gray beige. That was also really pretty. The one that I really like as well, I was tossing up between this one and this other one was the python, the snake python um, print. Just because I thought it was so fun, it was so different. But I thought to myself that I've also been wanting the Gucci bamboo, the Diana bag in the Python print. And I thought I'll save my Python for that bag if I get a chance to order that bag in because I think I will use that bag, that style more than this style. I think this is a bit of a trend style. But we'll see, you know, it could be it could be like the saddle bag where it was a trend piece but People still wear it because it's super cool, right? Um, and it does make every outfit better, which is something that I think all bags need to do. But, you know, that kind of varies from bag to bag. So, yes, I've seen this on the runway and I've seen a lot of people clutching this like this, just clutching it under their arm. I will do some cutaways of this being clutched under the arm as well so you guys can see um, what it looks like and also it on the shoulder. Fortunately, I I will try and put a stra another strap that I have. I probably only have a black one on this bag so that you can see it crossbody because I think this would work really good crossbody. It's such an edgy, cool girl bag. Um, this quality is exceptional. I'm super impressed. I cannot fault this at all. I'm actually really, really nervous because I've only just done my nails and I feel like they can be a little bit scratchy on the first day or two when I do them. So I'm really concerned that I'm gonna scratch this. Um, but we'll see. That's why I'm sort of holding it in a very like 
ee kind of way. So, um, I would love to do a what's in my bag for this. If you guys are interested, please let me know because I feel like, you know, it's, it's a hidden bucket. The opening is quite small. This opening here is really small. However, the inside is actually really big. It's probably the same size as the classic flap, um, the 26 centimeter classic flap. Also, it looks bigger than the Chanel 19 in the small, so in the 26 centimeter size, it looks smaller than that. Sorry, that looks smaller than this. So yeah, really, really curious. I actually think the spacing is going to be really generous because there's only one bucket, which if it was split, it'd be way too difficult to maneuver, I think, because it's such a small opening at the top. But yeah, super interested to see what this is going to be like to use. I cannot wait to start wearing this. I think this is going to be a great bag for winter. You guys in America that are, you know, in the US that are coming into cooler months, I think this bag would be amazing. I am just about to head into spring summer. Well, we're already in spring, just about to head into summer. And even though, yes, it will be worn in springtime, I think it'll be worn a lot more. I just feel like this is more of a winter bag, more of a cool climate bag. I've seen this bag in fur, faux fur, and also in like a, a shearling fabric. And it looks amazing, so great for winter. And if I was heading into winter now, I would have snapped up one of those. I thought that that was so fun. I always love a bit of a fur bag in winter time. But unfortunately, I'm in opposite climate. So I sort of had to think about that and go, ah, oh, buy it. You know, in another nine months time, will I be really wanting a fur bag? We'll see. And if I do, maybe I will purchase one. I hope this was helpful, guys. I'm going to go into the mod shots now. You guys can see me holding this in the a clutch style and you can see how big it is against my frame this is the larger size again so it does come in a smaller one so if you are smaller framed smaller girl don't carry a lot maybe you want to go with the smaller one I didn't feel like that one was going to be as useful for me so I bought the larger one um, I'll also show you this bag just on the shoulder so just a shoulder strap because that's the strap that it came with and then I will put on a longer strap and wear it crossbody. And you can see how it's going to look if I was to wear it crossbody. My outfit today is quite neutral. I really wanted to wear some lighter, neutral, cream, nude type of colors so that this bag would pop and you can see it properly. I didn't want to wear all black because I didn't think that it would do the bag justice. I wanted you to see how it can look and how amazing it can really elevate an outfit and give it a bit of edge there you go guys what do you think of the fendi first clutch bag do you love it as much as i do i'm really interested to test this style out and see how usable it really is and if it's going to be annoying or if it's perfectly fine i also want to test out if i'm going to be using it more like a clutch or more like a crossbody everyday bag so stay tuned to my channel if you want to know a little bit more about handbags. I do two videos a week on my site as well as on YouTube, depending on where you're watching. I'm also really prominent on Instagram. So head over there. I do a lot of stories. I run a lot of polls and even competitions and giveaways. So join my community over there. And I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye for now. Oh,